से आन मेरी मैं को ना चुने दूंगी जान को चाहे चलनी कर दो मान को ना चुने दूंगी Or make the world. Firstly, they wanted to 
in a very concise country. So I will, I feel very proud that I am proud citizen of India and here uh, the God made the sculpture and also precise the beauty of the world in this short country. It would not be hyperbolic if I would say that this country is heaven on the earth. So Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Vande Mataram. Yes. 
school and no. coaching. No. So my passion, my dreams and all the goals no. that have complicated and difficult. Some of them were complicated and difficult choosing them. So but then I thought of my future life, my goal and my family members where who I always wanted to them to be proud of me. So but suddenly I remembered a book I read how to be confident for the Egyptian author Ibrahim Al Paki. So I was shocked, cried and regretted about how to the book. I was read and after reading which has helped me and changed me a lot. Changed me a lot. So this amazing book plays an important role in my life about how to achieve goal. So friends, well, uh, so friends, one time I tried to uh, I tried to eye shadow on my career. So my friend of mine laughed at me. Then I tried to put an eye care, miss eye shadow on my career daily routine. Firstly, you don't have daily routine, so you are delaying yourself. So you don't put have right effort, right mean at the right time. So you be, won't be a wrong path. So, and the fourth point is a. So you can follow this path. Great, Mr. With a quiet smile, a very warm good note to spread to the team jury members, the second teacher, and all the amazing audience gathered here. I want to express my heartfelt thanks to the second jury members and the lovely audience for granting me this golden chance to speak. Well, today I, Priya Jaiswal, is standing before you to, as a fellow youth filled with hope and determination. But before I reveal my topic, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt like you had the power to change the world? What if I told you have the ability to make a difference no matter your age? So without any further ado, I am going to share an incredibly important topic that affects each and every one of us and that is youth empowerment. Now I will take you on a journey. But remember, this journey is not just about theory. It's about sparking a flame within each and every one of us, igniting the passion for change and inspiring action. So, now let me tell you firstly, what is the word youth mean? It means young, outgoing, united, truthful and humble. Life has given us a huge and novel gift. That is the youth. Whenever we heard this word, our first reaction is like, Young, frisky and very much dedicated for their passion. So what does youth empowerment mean? It is not just a phrase, it's a powerful concept to unlocking our full potential. To unlocking our full potential and helping us succeed in life. It is shameful that when the youth empowerment is mentioned, people think that it is only the function of government to empower the youth. This is not so as you are as an individual can impart the youth around the world. And if I ask with you, what is the most powerful force in the world? Some may say it is money or influence, but I believe it's energy and passion of young people. And when we ignite the fire of passion within ourselves, there is no limit what we can achieve. So how we can empower our youth? Empowerment begins with education. It's a fundamental right, but many are still unaware. So, you, you know your constitution, fight for your right and serve your duties. Be the youth that makes a difference. In this modern era, needs a modern solution. Youth, must, youth participation in politics is vital to eliminate issues like racist discrimination, crime against women, unemployment, Youth has the ability to bring a change in this country. We the youth are not just the future, but also the present. The time for change is now. So, however, it is disheartening to say that our significance is often questioned. So before winding my turn, I want to say, let us ask ourselves, why wait, why hesitate? Let's act now together to empower the youth of today to shape the world of tomorrow, where young persons can confidently 
So it's an honor to be here with you and today I am going to speak a rather interesting topic that is a grief observation. We can see society in the other world. So before starting anything, I would love to express my heartiest gratitude to my respected teachers, my honorable jury member and my loving audience. So here we go with our real incidents. There is a 19 years old Rashi from Madhya Pradesh. She died by suicide in her hostel room. So she left no suicide note. Police found some medicine and they believed that she was unable to keep up with her study. So she gave up. There is also news arose in a prestigious college of Bangalore that four boys put an into their life in the span of six months. Among four, three of them did it through the ceiling fan. That's why the college administrator removed all the ceiling fan from the hostel room. When a student committing suicide from the ceiling fan, then they remove it. Wow! What if a child jumps up from the building, then they will destroy the building? Change mindset, change country, that didn't mean this. There are so many reasons for it. Parental expectations, family pressure, bullyingness, poorness, unemployment. It makes us all wonder that why India suicide graph is increasing like a inflation graph of India. If we see the data of 2022, then we get to know that 10,768 students committed suicide just because of the failure in exam. And 864 students did it because of the fear of the exam. There's another reason. That's not in the mindset, but it's in the system. They are turning education into the competition. Society makes parents agents. Parents are not wrong at their own pace. They have a lot of expectations from the family, from the society as well. But parents should be in their mind. When they increase the pressure and put it on the child, then what does parents mean? Parents should be the seal of the child, not a pressure booster mechanism. Children are unable to talk with their parents openly. That's why they become the victims of society anxiety. Never compare one child with another child. Everyone has their own abilities and own talent. To further with the same vibration on inviting me and sharing this mic to express my view. As a fly cannot blossom without sunshine, just the same, human beings cannot live without love. Hello everyone, it's Mineha. I hail from Mumbai. Wish you a very good afternoon, my respected teacher.
huge round of applause for all the greaties, guests and all my dear friends. This is Divya Tiwari and I am here to give an insightful speech on the future of technology in India. A very warm and hearty gratitude to all of you for giving me a golden opportunity to speak in the grand seminar. Technology can become wings that allow all love it. We are living in 21st century where we do all our work with the help of technology. We know technology as a name of know and how. Also it employs the modern practical knowledge that we require to do things in an effective and efficient manner. Moreover, technology advancement has made our life easier and convinced until and unless. We know how to access the same. And however, everyone must know that topic will everyone must Listen know that anything so focus. It has some pores and cones. So now let's talk about some pores of technology. Technology can help to make our world more fairer, more peaceful, and with in privacy, encode security, and fuel in inequality. There have implications for human rights and human agency. Now talk about the digital future for all. Digital technology has advanced more rapidly than any innovation in history, reaching around 50% developing countries at only two decades and technology societies. Due to technology in the entertainment industry, they have more technique to provide us with more realistic time experience. Today, we have technology that can access to solve the problem that we have around the world. In the past, people used to write letters to people that take many days to reach the destination like money order, personal letter and so on. But now it is much easier to send in within few minutes. Besides, we cannot symbol some of the advantage and usefulness of technology at any fingertips. In conclusion, I will say that it depends on the person that what degree she or he and moreover there is nothing in the world that comes easy to us. It's up to our cons uh, it's up to our conscience to decide what you are learned from the things that provide you. At the last I will say that technology is not just a boom, it's curse too. On one hand, they can save life, on the other hand, they destroy them too. I want to take time and value.